just doing a warm up for about five minutes just on the bike, ticking the legs over, getting your heart rate going to a certain degree and uh, we'll get stuck into it. Okay, we're just going to work on some core stability stuff here. Uh, it's called a lateral brace. I'm going to put my elbow down. We're going to get to about 90 degrees. For the sake of what I'm doing, I'm holding a weight above my head, two feet together like this, and we're just going to brace for 30 seconds. When you're starting off, you should look at doing no weight up here with my, where my hand is, but holding this pose for 30 seconds. Now, this is really good for the little muscles that are around your uh, skeleton, basically, up and down the vertebrae, inside and out, front and back, just the little muscles in which we're working. You start to feel a bit of a shake when you're doing it, which is pretty natural. We're looking for 30 seconds. Getting there. And we'll swap sides. Here we go again. Same position, just change hands. Left hand up for me. And again for 30 seconds. Pretty easy uh, having a clock around. In most gyms you'll see that. There'll be a clock in the room, so you'll be able to just count them down yourself. Nearly there. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, this is our second rep on the right hand side. We're going to do three and this is basic to start off with. So three reps each side. And we'll build up to about four to be honest. I like to do, once, a, once I'm right into what a, whatever fitness I'm doing, probably four sets is probably where we need to be at. So 30 seconds, we should do it here. Really good for your core stability as I said. The other thing what you need to do is make sure that we're looking after our diet, eating correctly. Because doing exercise like this could be a complete waste of time unless we do that. Here we go, and time, we'll swap over. Left arm, some people find that left arm's a bit weaker. Good to go here. Starting to sweat too, hope you're feeling the same. Okay. About 10 seconds to go. Getting there. Like I said, this is the first exercise for us to do. It's pretty much just getting the body working as well. And done. Um, one more set. Whew. Hold the brace again, 30 seconds. We're getting there. Oh, starting to shake a little bit. Give way. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. And last one. Keep the hips up. Sometimes you might get a bit tired and you might start to drop in the hips. Important you just keep up and keep stable. Push you through the elbow. Look to the sky. Keep that arm straight as well. If you bend it a bit, just takes out your center of gravity a bit. Look straight up. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, now we've moved on to the lat pull-down machine. Now, just about every gym in the world will have one of these to start things off. And again, we're, we're getting back to the basics. Lat pull-down is very good for your getting strong and throughout the back. Lats are the biggest muscle in the back area, so uh, I want to make them as strong as possible. I'm going to start off by doing uh, sets of 10. Again, we'll do three sets of 10. But what I want to do is to make it really tempo-related. So you'll watch how slowly I can do this and, and almost counting in my head one two, three, four. Now, whilst I'm counting, it should be like this. One, two, three, four, up. One, two, three, four, up. So that way that we, uh, we're using the muscles to their full ability and we're not hurrying everything. We want to make sure the technique is absolutely spot on whilst we're doing this. So here we go. 
Feel the weight for you. I reckon if you're starting out, you know, you're probably going to be looking about about 25, 30 kilos. Keep the tempo going throughout, very important. Head up, down to your chest. Head up, down to the chest, pulling in your back. You'll feel that coming through the back. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, nice and even. The tempo was there the whole way through. Never really strained myself because we're just trying to start off. Once we build up in weight though, uh, over time you really want to put yourself under pressure. But for now, it's about building the strength slowly and keeping your tempo and your technique absolutely perfect. So, same stuff, tempo related. Under control the whole way. I can feel it pulling through my back, that's my intentions. Down to the chest with a lean back as well. That'll help you get the, the weight down and also pull right through those lats. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. All right, last set, set number three. Now, I like to have my hands out really quite wide and I reckon that really helps you with getting really good form in your back. So you want to get your back muscles working. For me, it's your lower back area and as I said before, the lats. That's going to give you a big V looking and uh, you, you know, start to fill your back out and that is the biggest muscle. A lot of people do the lat pull downs with the bar pulling behind their neck. I reckon that really puts strain on your neck and if you haven't got your technique correctly, every single time. It's going to put you under a fair bit of pressure and it uses mostly of your traps too if you put, pull the bar behind your neck. If we pull it down to the chest, it's not going to cause us any of those problems. One, two, nice and slow and con controlled, three, four, Five, not getting any pain with the neck because I'm not leaning forward. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Good start, there we go. Bit of a lap pull down there, that'll get us going. As I said before, we'll keep moving forward on every single drill we do. We moved along to the bench press, which pretty much is a stable in any gym you go to around the world. Just going to do a few sets again. We're going to go with three, and we're going to do three sets of ten. Again, I'm working on tempo here and making sure that our technique is absolutely controlled, and at no stage will I be really straining. The other thing to note is that I like to put my hands in a particular area, and I reckon for your chest, it's good to get you out in a your hands at about 90 degrees, your arms in this period here, so that your chest is nice and open, you're using your full chest. Some people get it in really close to them, not a big fan, that is working more so um, uh, a lot, <coughs> we cut that in, that, uh, a lot of, a lot of people can sometimes come in with a close grip, I'm not a really big fan, I mean sometimes that, that just uses your triceps a lot more and your arms and maybe some of your shoulders as well, rather than just concentrating on our chest. So again, we're about to start our first set, first set of three. I reckon a good weight to start with, if you're just starting out, probably just go with the bar weight. The bar weight would be enough. And again, I'm really tempoed here. Three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah. Nice, no worries there. Chest was out, everything was in tempo. I was really concentrating on my technique then. And this is exactly what you need to do. There you have it, that is the technique. Make sure, and I'm saying it over and over again, 
that the rhythm is there from the get-go. You're not rushing, your technique is perfect. Now what we need to do is make sure we do three lots of ten. That's what we're recommending at the start, just to get our strength based up. And then from there we can move on. Alright, let's go and see what we've got next. The shoulder press. I'm just going to put my weights down for a second and just show you what I've done with the seat. Now, again, once you go to a gym, you'll find out there's plenty of the, uh, the seats around. Sometimes it was people use it and they use it for different uh, exercises. And it might be a bit flatter, it might be used as an incline. But for this reason, we're doing shoulder press. And I'm going to put it right up to the very top so it's nice and stiff. Now, if you have shoulder problems and this might be a bit of an issue because it's too straight, then just put it back down one. To about just so it gives it a little bit more degrees and therefore you're not really upright and pushing your neck uh, forward too much so for this case I, I recommend that you only start with light weights now you might go with five or ten kilos once again we're going to go for ten reps and we're going to do three sets so here we go start from above down to 90 degrees and up Nice and controlled. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So that was nice and controlled, no worries at all. Bend over when you put your weights down so you're not using your back, you don't want to hurt yourself while you're out here trying to make yourself stronger. As I said before, make sure you've got the seat in uh, the right position. If you do have that problem, look at it, make the angle change, make the adjustment for yourself. Otherwise, get stuck into it, three sets of ten. Okay, now we're moving on to some upright rows. I've got the bar at my feet. This is one's about 20 odd kilos. I recommend that you start a bit lighter too. So if there's big Olympic bars in your gym, just go with that bar with no weight on whatsoever. Gradually add about two and a half kilos each side. That'll be perfect for what we're trying to achieve here. Again, I'm all about tempo, I'm all about technique in this case. And the main thing to do is uh, once we've picked up the weight, which I'm bending over, being careful, is work out the width of your hands. Now, in this case, the width of your hands should be, should be uh, just inside the thighs. I recommend, and I like to pull the weight up to about top of my top of my chest. Sometimes you can go a bit higher, but that's not probably giving the effect we want to. And we're working on the trapeziums here, uh, getting these muscle groups, which is a big one in the back, uh, getting them moving, and uh, and making sure we complete that strength just around the spine. Now, some cases when the weight gets heavier, you might want to put your foot forward and do it that way. But for today. I'm just going to have my legs uh, slightly bent and straight together. So here we go, ten, set, 10 reps of three on each side. One, two, three, nice and controlled. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Just like that, nice and controlled, easy tempo, hard to, the, the hardest thing to, yeah. Just like that, nice and controlled and with an easy tempo. Now the hardest thing to work out probably for doing this is what weight should I start on and how far my hands are going to be apart. From, apart from that, we should be ready to go. Pull it up to your chest height, right about there, and uh, three lots of 10. Okay, we're over here, I'm just about to do some bench dips. Now, pretty good for the triceps, this kind of workout is. And this is before you move on to a dip machine that you might see at a lot of gyms. We're gonna use our body weight to do this. This is just a step up that you might see around the place. Uh, we're gonna use this step up bench just to use our body weight to do our dips. So, here we go. Three sets of 10, nice and easy with our tempo. Feet out in front, legs straight for me. And I'm just gonna be bending at the elbows. And there's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now it's important when you're doing these to, you know, almost get down to about 90 degrees before we are pushing up. 
you're going to have your arms pretty much close together as you can at the back. That way we're using our triceps with our action here instead of maybe with your arms out a bit wider. In that case, you're using a bit more of your shoulder when we're doing this exercise. You can use any different heights. If the bench you're using is a bit higher, then you can bend your legs to, uh, to make the most of it. But in this case, so this seems to be absolutely perfect. Three lots of ten, and we'll be moving on. Now this is all about basic strength. We're going to move on to push-ups, which pretty much everyone has done in their time. If you can't do a full push-up with your chest touching the ground and you're up on your toes, then you can bend your legs and do it like this. Bend the knees and just push off your chest with your legs crossed behind, okay? But for this case, I'm just gonna do normal push-ups as we've seen a lot of times. Again, I'm all about tempo today. I'm all about building our basic strength. From this platform that we build from here, we'll be able to move on and we'll do, be able to do that pretty quickly. So I'm just gonna do lots of 12 and I'm gonna do four sets to start off with. Okay. One, two, three, four, nice and controlled, five, pushing through my chest, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Nice and basic, but you can't underestimate push-ups and using your body weight uh, to build your strength. That is a great workout just to kick things off. A lot of the times we've used uh, three sets of ten, which is fantastic, and that's what we need to start off with. Next time around, we will go for four sets of ten, and from then on, we'll introduce some heavier weights. I'm going to jump on the treadmill to finish things off today. Now, this is pretty simple running uh, apparatus. We see these in every single gym. I've just turned the machine on, I'm going to go for a quick start. Now I'm going to run on a speed limit of 10 for me just to start off with and that's really just, a, really just about a jog to kick things off. Nice and comfortable, relaxing your shoulders as you're running along. The thing I find about, the thing I find about running on a treadmill is you're always following a time. I think it's hard to run to a time. So what I like to do is run to a speed and also a distance. So in this case, I'm going to be running in 500 metre lots. It's easy to look at the distance marker and also uh, the speed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run for 500 metres and I'm going to keep the speed at 10. Once I've done the 500 metres, I'm going to bring the speed back down to 9 and I'm just going to cruise. You'll be able to get your breath back if that's put you under a little bit of pressure. I'll do that for another 500. And again, I'll get up to 10, but I'll probably take it to 10.2. Once I've done that for 500, I'll bring it back down to 9.2. Always keeping a gap of one in between each set that I'm gonna do. It's pretty easy to pass the time doing it in this way. As I'm going along now. And I, and I think it's much more enjoyable than feeling the pressure of running to a particular time. Here we go. I ripped them. Okay, now we've run our first 500. I'm going to put the speed level down one entire kilometre. It's down to nine. Able to get my heart rate going a bit lower, get my breath back. Feel pretty comfortable doing this. And it actually becomes a little boring in a sense because I've got to run slower for 500 metres, but I feel better for it. Nice and easy, ticking them over. Stay relaxed in your shoulders, tense up, it loses a lot of energy. Something I used to do, it's not a good idea. Get tired pretty quickly. Just cruising now, done about 200 metres, 300 to go before we, we ramp it back up again.
30 seconds to go, or a couple of hundred metres. Should be no worries for you so far. Okay, now I'm going to ramp up the speed again. I'm back up to 10, which is 10 k's an hour on the treadmill. Again, once we've done this a few times, you start your heart rate will start getting up, but we don't want to put yourself, well, you don't want to put yourself under too much pressure. So we just keep going at this. It's perfect. So once again, we want to run in 500 metre increments. We want to run to 500 metres, and we want to run it on a speed. Starting off with a low speed, at nine, going up to 10. Nine will be our warm up. 10 will be where we want to go as our max. We're back to nine after 500. We're back up to 10 as another 500 goes. And we want to do that till we've won, till we've run three kilometers. Okay, off you go.